My name is Dr. William Dobbins. Uh, I'm a physician and scientist working at the Seattle Children's Research Institute. My formal training is in both genetics and neurology. Zika is a new emerging threat uh, to uh, humans all over the world. It particularly targets and attacks neural stem cells in preference to other cell types. A recent report uh, just coming out this week from Johns Hopkins and several other universities on the East Coast showed that the Zika virus had a, a particularly uh, predisposition uh, to uh, infect uh, neural stem cells or the cells in the brain that produce all of the other cells in the developing baby's brain. They're critical for the scaffolding that, uh, that uh, is needed to, to build a brain. And I've started collaborations with a group of physicians, uh, experts in Brazil. Those doctors have uh, so far shown me about 15 brain scans of children with Zika virus microcephaly. What I see is a pattern of birth defects of the baby's brain that I've seen only four or five times over 20 or 30 years. The abnormalities consist first off of microcephaly, and then when you start looking at the brain scans, you see that there is space between the baby's skull and brain, suggesting that the brain has been injured and actually shrunk. Third, you start seeing a birth defect of the cerebral cortex. And finally, you see scattered calcifications, or, which is a sign of an uh, injury from an infection. The experts in Brazil and I now think that we can actually recognize the Zika virus-associated microcephaly simply from the brain scans and photographs of these children. The infections caused by Zika virus and by related viruses in adults are very mild infections. There was never a rationale to to begin a expensive and intensive effort to develop a treatment. Well, we have that reason now, um, but developing a vaccine is never sh quick and easy, and so it's not going to happen in a few months. But clearly there's going to be a major effort to develop a vaccine, and I suspect we'll see something um, uh, come forward within a year or two.